Vamos a comenzar Español Básico, lección 1. Um, so in this level, we're preparing you to have, the, the biggest difference between this one and the last level is just adding more detail to the conversations, okay? Nice. Uh, we're really trying to prepare you to start having real conversations with people that work in your community uh, oh. so that you can start you know, making friendships with native Spanish speakers and then to be nice. able to speak a little bit more professionally as well. That's good. Um, lots of cultural differences. Bueno, uh, you have all my contact information I know mm -hmm. already. Um, yeah. If you wanted to add me as a friend, well, I think we are connected on Facebook now too. Mm -hmm. yep. so, yeah, cool. Um, bueno, yo soy uh, tu profesor de español, so I'm going to be teaching this class going forward. Oh, cool. Um, nice. viví, soy de Estados Unidos, pero también viví en España, Argentina, Chile y Ecuador. Wow. So those are all the countries that I've lived in. Viaje means I traveled to. Viaje a oh, okay. Cuba, a la República Dominicana. Viaje a México muchas veces y muchos países más. Um, y tú, Ángela, ¿de dónde eres? Um, so... Vivo en Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I guess I should say like, no via, uh, how would you say that? Um, I do not travel. <laughs> no viajo? No viajo. No viajas, okay. Yeah. No, no todavía, not yet. <laughs> yep, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I can inspire you to uh, get on a plane and head to Latin America sometime. Yeah, I'm trying to talk Chris into our trip that we were going to take to go visit my in Ingrid in Germany. I'm yeah. trying to talk him into going to Spain and then flying over to Germany. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, I would like to go to a country where I can kind of speak the language. <laughs> so cool. I, uh, in, I was moving all the stuff uh, from because I had to close down the physical location. Yeah couple of weeks ago and I, I came acro across this guidebook to Barcelona from when I was living there oh. and it was all about the different art and architecture like Barcelona is so beautiful Every, everywhere yeah. you go there's just it's just magnificent you know That's just so very cool. artistic um wow and so it's inspiring me now I've got this idea I want to do this kind of ceramic raised flower bed in my backyard Ooh, nice and like that's do, cool like, like the spanish mosaic tile patterns on it you know hmm. like, so. that's pretty cool yeah it's it's cool it's cool to travel um bien yo soy maestro de español desde el 2005 y también soy fundador de the language school estudié um en la universidad y me gradué en el año 2007 uh, con una carrera titulado del comercio exterior a español y mercadeo y tú a qué te dedicas angela what do you do for work a qué te dedicas uh, currently <laughs> Um, so to say currently, you would say actualmente. Actualmente? Yeah, it's a false cognate. It sounds like actually, but it means currently. Actualmente. Oh. Okay, so actualmente. Um, trying to think how to say it. So, okay. I don't know even know if this is an actual, if there's like an actual translation, but how would you say content creator? <laughs> Soy crea, creadora de contenido or... Creadora... Say it again. Creadora... Uh -huh. Creadora is creator. Uh -huh. Creadora de contenido would be content. De contenido. Yeah. Creadora uh -huh. de content... Okay. <laughs> I forgot. But like, that's so hard. Most, most times that's also just going to be considered a uh, autora, author. Ah. Okay. Cool. So when you say it more like creadora de contenido, it might no. add in like audio visual type stuff, you know? Oh, okay. Contenido. Okay. So creadora de contenido. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> Me gusta, Angela. 
cuando no estoy trabajando, me gusta mucho la música. Soy músico y me gusta tocar los tambores y también la guitarra. Uh, me gusta bailar salsa. Uh, viajo a veces, no tanto hoy en día, pero viajo a veces. Me gusta ir al gimnasio para hacer ejercicio y leer y también ver películas. ¿Y a ti qué te gusta? Um, hmm, me gusta, escucho la música. Me gusta escuchar. Escuchar, escuchar le, uh, la música. Um, let's see. Me gusta uh, caminar en mi, how do you say, subdivision? Subdivision? Mi barrio, in my neighborhood, mi barrio. Okay. Um, y me gusta leer. Muy bien. Bueno, ¿por qué estudiar español? Se habla español en más de 20 países del mundo y cada día más es requisito para trabajar aquí en Estados Unidos. Nos ayuda mucho nice. en, en el mundo profesional aquí, aunque Estados Unidos no es un uh, país hispanohablante. Um, ¿Y tú? ¿Por qué tú deseas eh, o ¿Por qué estudias español? ¿Por qué deseas hablar español, Angela? Uh, sí, estudio español. ¿Por qué? Why? Oh, why? <laughs> um, I was thinking that's what you were saying, but I was like, uh, okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think how to say it. Uh, Estudio, what I say, estudio porque hablar mi am, amiga. Um, I'm trying to say, like, I study because uh, I want to speak with my friend. Um, oh, estudio para hablar con mi amiga. Estudio para hablar. And then what was it? Con mi amiga. Con mi amiga. Muy bien. Um, and then, y uh, viajar. Y para viajar. Excelente. Para viajar. Uh, a mí me gusta enseñar un poco del español de todos los países. So I teach a little bit of Spanish from all over the place. I don't have cool. just one region specific focus on Spanish. And that has to do with my experience and living in like five different Spanish speaking countries. <laughs> um, so I just kind of want to open you guys up to the idea that Spanish changes a little bit from one country to another. Um, está bien hacer errores. It's okay to make mistakes. Uh, the, the key or the point to what we do here is to talk and to talk as much as possible, right? You're going to make mistakes. Okay. Doesn't matter. That's part of the process. Okay. Um, en esta lección vamos a repasar cómo presentarnos los verbos regulares y el alfabeto. Vamos a aprender la forma de usted. Vamos a aprender el verbo estar. Y vamos a usar estar para hablar de condiciones, emociones y posesión. ¿Sí? Um, bueno, antes de comenzar. What do these phrases mean? These are super uh, important phrases for the Spanish classroom. Como se dice? What does that mean? Como se dice is how do you say? ¿Qué significa? Uh, what is the significance? ¿Puedo hacer una pregunta? Uh, may I ask a question? No entiendo. Uh, I do not understand. Repite, por favor. Uh, repeat, please. Más despacio, por favor. Uh, much slower, please. Yeah. Muy bien. Okay, so you might need to use one of those words to complete this activity with me. Okay. <laughs> so from time to time, I purposely throw in things that you have not learned yet because mm -hmm. I want you to really get comfortable using these phrases. Sí. So it'll help you a lot. Okay. Angela, ¿qué necesitan los alumnos para tomar notas importantes en la clase? Hang on, I'm trying to break it down. Mm -hmm. Need. Oh, 
shoot need something for to take notes important in the class what do you need who what's that who oh okay um what's the subject I don't know. I think so I'm the, overcomplicating it. Probably. That's okay. That's <laughs> why we're doing this. So the first step is to identify the verb and the subject. Mm -hmm. So what's the verb? Um, okay, so yeah. would it be para tom tomar? Para tomar, yeah, but there's a verb that comes before that. Um, the primary verb of this sentence is the verb that is conjugated. Okay, so is it uh, necessitan? Necessitan, that is the verb. Necessitan, okay, yeah. okay. So, what is, so the verb is necessitar. This one mm -hmm. ends in A-N. So who are we asking about? Um, him or her. Right. They. No, 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 because it's a n. Um, it is talking about like they, they exactly. Yes. So, who's the they? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Los alumnos. Oh, see, si. okay, yeah, so, that's what I was thinking, but I was like, uh, okay. Sometimes in Spanish, they kind of flip the, the questions around a little bit backwards, okay, so saying, What do the students need? Okay. What do this Oh yeah, because alumnos is yeah, okay. I was trying to remember what alumnos was. That's what was tripping me up. Okay. Yeah. What, what I did the students that. need? To take important notes for the class? Yep. Oh yay. <laughs> I thought that's what it was saying, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how would you answer that? Um Hmm. So would I say, uh, how, how do you say that word? Necessitan? Necessitan. Necessitan. Un lapis. O... Un polígrafo. Claro, muy bien. Y, um, I forgot how to say some. Uh, shoot, I forgot how to say some. Um, um what? Pa 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 papel. E papel. Mm -hmm. E papel. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't remember that word for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Muy bien. Angela, ¿qué necesitamos para saber el tiempo? We need four. Is that this weekend? So uh, I'm trying to remember what Sabir is. So ask me. Uh, ¿Qué significa saber? Saber significa to know. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so. Um, yeah, I would be surprised if you didn't have to ask me one of these questions. <laughs> almost every, yeah. Almost every single question here. So don't hesitate. I think I'm just trying to break it down. Um, uh, que significa K again? It's who, is right? what? What? Okay, that's what I thought it was. Okay, so what do we need for... Um, shoot, my brain. Um, so saber we, means to know. What do no, we okay. need What to do we know? need to know? And then el tiempo is. What do we need to know? Oh, is that time? Mm -hmm. What do we need to know? The time. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking that's what it was, and I was like, I know, I know this, but it's just not like popping up in my head. Okay, uh, so what do we need to know for the time? No. 
What do we need to know the time? Okay, what do we need to know the time? Um, How do you know what time it is, Angela? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's what I was thinking it was asking. I was like, um, okay, I'm overthinking this for some reason. Um, okay, so my response would be, would it be necesitamos un reloj un like reloj. like a watch necesitamos un reloj mm -hmm. okay yep. i was thinking that's what it was <laughs> numero tres que necesita el maestro para escribir y borrar durante una clase okay um que significa Borad, borad. To erase. To erase, okay. Um, and que significa durante? I forgot what that was. Durante, during. Oh yeah, during. During, okay. So then what does he or she, no, okay, and El Maestro, okay, what does the teacher need to write or to erase during the class? Um, okay, um, El Maestro necesita don't it would be a racer wouldn't it the answer so if that's that that would that would be to a race hmm sorry i'm just trying to well thank you so let's start with that so how do you say a racer okay so that's to a race the barad um I no let's say I, I don't know how to I know you don't know. The whole purpose of this is to get, <laughs> get comfortable asking me how to say okay. that. Like, like okay. I'm not joking, on hello. Like I'm, I want you to ask me these questions. Like that's okay. These questions here, there's a big reason why we just reviews the review. Them. Okay. Because okay. I was trying I was trying to see if I could like come up with it without having to ask, but yeah. But but Sorry. don't because because this is like seriously I'm doing this right. on purpose right because you have to get comfortable not right knowing. you have to right. get comfortable not knowing you have to get comfortable asking questions that's okay. actually the whole purpose of this activity <laughs> I'm getting okay. a bunch of things that you don't know how to say because okay. I want you to get comfortable saying right how to say it right that's right that's awesome okay so then so then um como se dice eraser uh-huh. Se dice el borrador. El borrador. Muy bien. Okay. So then, um, el maestro necesita el borrador. Muy bien. Yeah, I do this. It's, it's awkward that I'm doing this to you, but I do it with a really good intention behind it. And it's to get you comfortable admitting when you don't understand something, and when you need to know how to say something or when right. you know what something means. Um, right. Because in most of the situation, like you're at a point now where you're able to start introducing yourself to people and make small talk mm -hmm. to people. And then they're going to say something that I never taught you. And, <laughs> and so what are you going to do? Just say, oh, okay, bye. Right. Like, oh, <laughs> right. That's, right. That's as far as I got. So see you yeah. later. Oh, keep going. You just have to, right. to use these. Como se dice? Que significa? No right. And people are going to help you through it because the right. real class, like we're in our classroom right now, right? Our virtual mm -hmm. Zoom classroom. But the mm -hmm. real class is when you go to the, your favorite Mexican restaurant and you're ordering food with the waitress, you know, like that's, that's when, <laughs> it gets fun. Yeah. And, yeah. Be, and when you find yourself in that situation, you know, when you go back to school and your your students, you know, don't speak English very well, or when you get on that plane and go to Spain, like, mm -hmm. you know, 
you, with with these phrases, ¿cómo se right. dice? ¿Qué significa? Puedo hacer una pregunta. No entiendo. Repite más despacio. With these six phrases, it doesn't matter. Right. You can you can come to an understanding. So that's exactly why we're doing this activity right now. Okay. Like I said, I think I, I'm just in my head. I'm like, okay, I can figure this out without, you know, it's just, it's a force I have it for me. But you can only figure it out if you know it, right? And, right, and right. Like I'm purposely throwing things here that yeah. I do not expect you to know. Right. To get out. Because adults, when they're, when they're learning a new language, they're, they do what you're doing right now. Yeah. Which is try to figure it out and they, and they don't like to admit when they don't know something. It's, right. it's, it's a natural <laughs> right. thing because you've been communicating for your whole life and now we've essentially taken away your ability to communicate. But it's no, there's no shame with it. There's right. nothing to be embarrassed about, honestly. It's a natural reaction for adults to get embarrassed. But honestly, right. there's no reason to, you know, you're learning Spanish, so learn it. Right. <laughs> and this is right. how you do it, right? Right. Okay. Número cuatro. ¿Qué necesitamos para sentarnos en la clase? Okay, um, como se dice sentarnos? Yep, and so the, the, the question you really want to ask is, ¿qué significa? Ah, sí, sí. Um, ¿Qué significa sentarnos? Sentarnos significa to sit down. Sit down. Okay. Um, okay, hang on. Necesitamos, let's we, what do we, oh, uh, I know what it is, <laughs> okay, um, um, necesitamos, um, I forgot how to say that word, uh, como se dice, um, use i forgot how to say that word necesitamos usar usar okay um necesitamos necesitamos usar um, oh shoot um is it las sillas no sí. that's windows la silla see sí. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> I always get windows and chairs mixed up, and I don't know why, but okay. Las sillas. Mm -hmm. Okay, Angela, número cinco. ¿Qué necesita el maestro para mostrar una presentación? Cuatro oscuro. I know I've seen those words before. Okay. One, two, go. Cuatro oscuro. Uh, I'm asking you number number five. ¿Qué necesita? Oh, el I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. ¿Qué necesita el maestro para mostrar una presentación? Okay. Um, ¿Qué significa mostrar un? Well, I know what una presentación. Uh, ¿Qué significa mostrar? To show. Okay. Um, I'm like writing it down so I don't forget it. Okay. Um, what does the teacher need to show a presentation? Um, el maestro necesita... Oh man, I forgot how to say chalkboard. Um, chalkboard to show a presentation? Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not right. Um, the word you're thinking of is pizarra, but. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Um, okay, so el maestro necesita una computadora? Muy bien. Okay. Número seis, ¿qué necesitamos para ver en un cuarto oscuro? Okay. There, I think, means 
to no it doesn't mean to go yes no no why am i having a moment ask ask okay <laughs> sorry yeah. force of habit um okay um k significa ver ver significa to see to see okay to see um and then uh k significa oscuro oscuro means dark dark that's what it was okay no i knew that word um okay two oh okay i think i know what this is all right so what do we need to see in something dark um case looks like four que significa cuatro 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 significa room ah okay room sorry i'm writing this down so what do we need to see in a dark room quarto is room okay um necess necessitamos Would it be necessitamos? Mm. Oh man, I know this word. Why am I blanking? Ask me, Angela. Okay. You're, you're making uh, it harder than it should be. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Um, but I'm just honestly like, yeah. Like if sorry. the purpose of this is for you to ask me how to say things. Yeah. <laughs> you see how hard you're resisting? <laughs> you see how hard you're resisting? Yeah. Like honestly, stop. Just make it <laughs> This this activity should take five minutes. But you're resisting these these questions. You're not wanting to ask me these questions. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. And, um <laughs> how simple it can be if you just go through every time you don't understand so hey, que significa, hey, como se dice, hey, que, okay. that, that's honestly um, the purpose of this activity. Okay. It really is. Como, como se dice light? Una luz. Una luz. Okay. Um, so necesitamos una luz. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Okay. ¿Qué necesitas para botar basura? Um, ¿Qué significa botar basura? To throw away trash. Oh, yeah. Um, Okay, uh, let's see. Necesitas para, so what do we use to throw away trash? Um, como se dice trash can? Cesto de basura. Un cesto, cesto de basura. Un cesto de basura. Okay. Um, so, um, so it's asking, what do you? So, necesito... Un, oh shoot, I just forgot it again. <laughs> um, Cesto de basura. What is it? It's, uh, Cesto? Cesto, that's what it is. Okay, so necesito cesto de basura. Muy bien. ¿Qué necesitamos para mandar correo electrónico? Okay, um, ¿qué significa mandar? Mandar means to send. Oh, okay. Um, I need to send electronic mail. Uh, necesitamos una computadora. Muy bien. See how easy those last three went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I don't know why I'm like overthinking it and stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, this is honestly what I go through with everybody here. And it's, it's seriously just like to make things easier on you. Don't forget these phrases. These, yeah these these are phrases that i teach in the first couple of lessons right constantly have to keep going back to them and i constantly throw in stuff that i don't expect to you, you to know to see if you'll do this right so there's a methodology the hardest one i think for me to remember what it is is the pre, uh the puedo hacer una pregunta sometimes yeah. i forget to say that yep 
but just yeah. have to keep practicing. That's all it is. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Do you remember your Spanish alphabet? Uh, si. Um, a, B, Oops, sorry. C, <laughs> D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, Y, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, double, X, Y, and Z. Muy bien, muy bien. All right. Um, ¿Cómo se dice, o qué significa yo? Um, means I. Tú? Uh, means you. Él. Uh, he. Ella. She. Nosotros? We. Ellos? Uh, they as in a uh, men. Yep, and then ellos too, it's just they. Yeah. Okay, we're going to look at a couple of new things. We kind of touched on the studies in the last level right at the end. Do you remember mm -hmm. what studies means? What what? Ustedes. Oh, um, yeah, that's the formal version of they. Uh, no, it's not the formal oh. version. Ustedes is the plural version of you. You oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. All, all. Yeah, that's what it was. It's the plural form. Yeah, um, okay, so let's review our verb conjugation. So, uh, with our AR verbs, the endings in the yo form is going to be, do you remember? Um, so, you said the AR in the yo form uh -huh. would be O. O. Oh. Mm -hmm. Two? Um, it would be as. El or ella? A. Nosotros? Amos. Ellos, ellas, and ustedes? An. Muy bien. So put it together with a verb like hablar. Yo? Okay. So that would be um, hablo, hablas, habla. Um, just a second, I dropped my pencil. Oh, goodness. Um, hablamos and hablan. Muy bien. All right, same thing with our ER verbs. What's the ending in the go form? Okay, so it's O and then S, E, Amos, and then N, EN. N. All right, so now put it together with comer. Okay, como, comes, come, comemos and come in. Muy bien. All right, IR verbs. Yo? O. Is. S. S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it doesn't change. Yeah. So S and then E mm -hmm. and Emos. Emos. Muy bien. And then N. In. Yeah, the only difference between IR and ER verbs is going to come in that nosotros form. Right. At least for what we've seen up until now. <laughs> right. So now, okay. the verb vivir. Okay. So it's vivo, vives, vive, vivimos, and viven. Muy bien. Okay. We're going to take a look at a new concept here the usted okay. form. Usted is a word that doesn't really exist in the English language. Uh, it's something that we use to be formal, polite, and show respect in Spanish. So think mm -hmm. about times when you're talking to a stranger or somebody in an authority position, police mm -hmm. officer, judge, doctor, whatever. Uh, if you're talking to an elder, and you should use the usted form. And then uh, oftentimes when you're meeting somebody for the first time, it kind of depends on the situation here, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's always a good idea to, to go more formal and polite if, in, if there's any doubt here. Okay. So this is what it would look like. I could, if I'm walking up to somebody, you know, imagine you're in Spain and you're just mm -hmm. trying to figure out if you can find somebody that speaks English. You can walk up to somebody on the street and say, disculpe, señor. Usted habla inglés? 
Uh, usted habla. This literally translates to, do you speak English? Okay. okay. Uh, the usted form, this is where it's a little confusing. Usted means you, just like tu. It's mm -hmm. just a polite way of saying it. Okay. Uh, it does follow the conjugation for the third person singular. So I kind of like to think of it is like you're being so polite or so formal that you're removing yourself directly from the conversation, if that makes sense. That's a good way to think of it. Um, él habla español. So that means, does he speak Spanish? Mm -hmm. Usted habla español. That also means, do you speak Spanish if you're talking to a stranger? Okay. All right. So, so <clears throat> the usted form, it just follows the third person singular. So with AR verbs, it's going to be an A. Uh, so it'd be usted habla. Uh, with mm. ER verbs, it's going to be an E, usted E. So it'd be usted come. With our ER verbs, it's also an E, usted vive. Okay? Okay. So, so that's, so the usted is like you personally informal, and usted des is the plural form of being formal. Correct? No. Does that make sense? It, uh, it, I understand what you're asking, but you're you're slightly off. Um, All right. <laughs> usted, usted means you in the formal sense. Don't confuse right. usted with ustedes. Usted oh, okay. Is, so they're two separate things. Okay. Yeah, ustedes okay. is plural for you. All okay. Right? Okay. So you've got two be base that is informal talking to friends and family. Usted vive is talking to anybody else. Right. Okay. Okay. Not to be confused with ustedes, which is just addressing a group. Uh, you of all. People. Okay. I'm going to mark that down so I don't get them mixed up. All right. So we're going to practice with the usted form a little bit here. Okay. Um, okay. Your answers are going to be the same, but this would be like if you're, this is like a conversation to introduce yourself to somebody okay. that you've never met before, to okay. be extra polite. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Um, so I would say. Your answer is the same, me llamo. Okay, so it is me llamo. So, mm, so I would just say me llamo Angela. Uh -huh. And then would I, use the is, would I use the estet or I, I, no, that's just like no, asking you. the question. Okay, okay, gotcha. Your answer, that's what I'm confused. saying. Your answers are the same regardless. Of it's just whatever the question is. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um. ¿Cómo se deletrea su nombre? Uh, mi nombre es... Siete. Mm, I'm no. not asking for your No, 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 here. number. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking number, not name. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, mi nombre es... A... N A G E L A. Muy bien. Mucho gusto. <laughs> gracias. Muchas gracias. Yeah. So when somebody says mucho gusto, that's like saying nice to meet you. Oh, sí. It's better sí. to respond and say something like igualmente. Oh, okay. Igualmente. Okay. De dónde es usted? Um, vivo in Estados Unidos. So careful, I'm not asking you where you live. De, de donde es I'm usted. asking you where you're from. Oh, where you're from, okay. Um, so, I believe it's, is it Don? It's Donde, right? No, no hang on. Put donde. Donde is the question. Hang on, I'm trying to remember. Um, sorry, I'm having a moment today. Okay, um, okay so. Um, oh my gosh. I can't remember. I, my brain's. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so, estoy. Uh huh. So estoy is the wrong form of the verb be. So you want to say soy de. Soy, soy de. de. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh my gosh. Sorry. 
I apparently haven't had enough coffee today. <laughs> um, okay, so soy de uh, Estados Unidos. Muy bien. Donde vive? Okay, here it goes. All right, so vivo in Illinois. ¿A qué se dedica? Um, trying to remember. So could I, could I use trabajo or? I don't, it, it I'm trying to remember. On what, what you're about to say. So what, what do you want to say? I, I want to say, um, I work as a teacher's aide. That's okay. what I want to say. So here I would say soy ayudante, okay. soy asistente. Soy al profesor o soy asistente al maestro. Okay, soy asistente al maestro. Muy bien. ¿Qué okay. le gusta hacer? Um, me gusta escuchar la música. Muy bien. Y leer. Bien. Dígame sí. algo interesante de usted. Um, ¿Qué significa dígame? Uh, tell me. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I, gosh, that's a hard question. Um, so I guess I would say um, geez, I don't know. There's so many ways to answer this question. Um, me gusta caminar en el parque. I don't know. Está bien. Muy bien. ¿Cuál es su número de teléfono? Okay. Um, mi número es um, Uh, hang on. Siete uno nueve um, uno dos siete nueve. <laughs> Muy bien. Estamos en contacto. Uh, let's stay in contact. Mm -hmm. Ah, see. Sí. Um, so I guess I would say. Um, Here's where you could say, me parece bien. Me pare parece bien. Mm -hmm. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Yep. Uh, ¿Qué significa? Um, uh, what was it you had said? Para, para... Me parece bien. Sí. That's like saying sounds good. Ah, how do you spell that? Parece. Uh, P A R E C E. Parece. Ah, sí, gracias. Muy bien. Parece. All right, so moving on along, we're just going to practice now asking questions with the usted form. So we can take okay. turns. I'll ask you first. Angela. ¿Habla por teléfono? ¿Usted? ¿Usted habla por teléfono? Um, sí, hablo por teléfono con mis amigos. Bien, ahora pregúntame el número dos. Ok. Um, In the usted form. Ok. Uh, Okay. Maestro David, um, cam, caminas por el parque. So you want to use the usted form. Caminas is the two form. Oh, right. Um, so, camina por el parque usted. Sí, camino por el parque con mi perro. Hmm. 
¿Usted vale. viaja por las montañas? Um, no. Viajo. Uh, oh, shoot. No viajo. No por las montañas. Just, you only say no one time. No okay. viajo por las montañas. Okay. I was trying to, I was like, I, I'm trying to remember where the no goes. Mm -hmm. Just right before the Okay. Book. Okay. Um, okay. So, cuatro. Um, ordena cerveza, cerveza, cerveza. No. Ah, usted. No ordeno cerveza. Usted toma ron. Uh, no, no tomo ron. Um, reserva, uh, reserva una mesa para su familia, usted? No, no reservo una mesa para mi familia. Ángela, ¿deseas entradas? Uh, sí, deseo entradas. Um, toma postre ustedes or usted? <laughs> um, oh, I wouldn't really use tomar for this one. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I could probably do or ordena. Ordena works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ordena postre usted? Ah, uh, sí, ordeno postre. ¿Bailas mucho? Uh, perdón, ¿usted baila mucho? Um, no, no bailo mucho. Good. Um, ¿Habla poco? Or, would I say usted habla, habla poco? Or would I say habla poco usted? Either way. Oh, okay. Um, ¿Usted habla poco? No, yo hablo mucho. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Same thing with our ER verbs, okay? Okay. You want me to start? Sure. Okay. Um, ¿Bebe vino usted? No, no bebo vino. ¿Usted aprende español? Sí, aprendo español. Um, ¿Corre en el gimnasio usted? Sí, corro en el gimnasio. ¿Come algo interesante? Um, me gusta caminar <laughs> en el parque. <laughs> The question is, ¿usted come algo interesante? Do you eat something interesting? Oh, eat. Okay, I thought, I don't know what I thought you said. Okay. Um, Sí, um, como, uh, I'll just say, um, Rusio, I think that's how you say Russian. Um, Ruso. Ruso, okay. And so, so comida, como es la comida rusa? Ah, okay. <laughs> that's hard to remember. Um, okay. Uh, como, 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 la comida, la comida, rusa, rusa, wow, okay, okay. rusa, okay, um, hmm, uh, corre, oh, wait, yeah, I think that's, okay, corre en la calle, usted, uh, calle. Sí. corro en la calle, huh? usted bebe ocho vasos de agua, Um, bebo, uh, bebo tres vasos de agua. Muy bien. Um, come italiano usted? You really need to make that come la comida italiana. You can't... Come la comida. Come la comida. Okay. So, uh, come la comida italiana. 
italiano usted? Italiana. Yeah. La comida, right? Italiana, so, sí. Sí, como la comida italiana mucho. Me encanta. Sí. Ángela, mm, ¿bebes café por la mañana? Uh, sí, bebo un café con leche por la mañana. Muy bien. Um, okay. Uh, come, I'm trying to remember how you said that. Come la, you just said this. Um, come, come la camina uh, carne. Is that what, is that right? And I have no idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> I was trying to say. Carne. Come la carne. I don't, I don't know. Okay. What, okay. What I'll, yeah. <laughs> okay, confused. Sorry. Um, come la carne. Sí, usted. Co como la carne mucho también. Okay. Come usted los dulces? Um, no come, uh, no como um, uh, la dulce. Dos, dos, doses. Okay. We've got more, one more round to do with our IR verbs. Um, why don't you write down these questions, these 10 questions? I'm going to go get another cup of water and I'll be right back. Okay. And you'll just ask me all 10 of these when, when I get back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Did you get all 10? Uh, I'm on number six. Okay. Uh, just trying to figure out which one would work for that one. I'll skip that one real quick and do the others. Um, Sire. Circa de 
Come on. Um, what would work best with, um, siete, um, or seis, um, number six, because it, they're asking for your work, right? They're saying about. About your work? Okay. About your work or from your work. So you could say, escribes de su trabajo, do you write about your work? Discute oh, okay. de su trabajo, do you argue about your work? Okay. I wasn't sure if that's what they were, what it was saying or, okay. So, listed, discute de su trabajo, or, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. All right. <laughs> all right, I was trying to make sure I got them all done. Um, Okay. Um, vive in Denver, usted? Sí, yo vivo en Denver. Um, usted escribe poesía? Sí, escribo poesía. Um, escribe correo electrónico usted? Sí, escribo muchos correos electrónicos todos los días. Um, usted ¿Recibe correo basura? Uh, sí, recibo correo basura también. ¿Usted vive en una casa? Sí, vivo en una casa. ¿Usted discute de su trabajo? Uh, a veces discuto de mi trabajo. Um, ¿Recibe una carta de amor usted? No, no recibo una carta de amor. Uh, vive, uh, ¿Vive cerca de la escuela? Um, usted, sí, vivo usted? cerca de la escuela. Okay. ¿Escribe un libro usted? Sí, escribo un libro. ¿Usted vive con su amor? Sí, vivo con mi amor. Okay, muy bien. All right. Uh, real quick, we're just going to take a quick look at the difference between European and Latin American Spanish. So mm -hmm. essentially European Spanish is from Spain. Um, mm -hmm. It is the form of Spanish that spread across the world, uh, but there are some notable differences. One of the primary differences is how you address people in the plural form. Um, okay. In Latin America, the only way to do this is with the ustedes form. In Spain, you have the option to say ustedes or vosotros, okay? okay. Um, vosotros is used to address a group of friends, family, or youth, whereas okay. ustedes is like usted in that it's only used for the formal situation or for addressing okay. a group of strangers or people in an authority position or something like that. So they're okay. both acceptable. They both mean the same thing. If, if, if you were in Spain and you were walking up to a group of strangers, you might say, una pregunta, caballeros, ustedes hablan inglés? And if you were addressing a group of kids, you might say, una pregunta, muchachos, vosotros habláis inglés? Okay. Um, there's a new conjugation here. Mm -hmm. uh, I teach it to say that I taught it. We don't really practice it just because here okay. in the United States, people speak the Latin American. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you really need to know for living here in the United States is the ustedes form. Um, now, you mentioned earlier that you were interested in possibly going to Spain. So, mm -hmm. you know, this may be an area that you want to learn. Um, right. So it's, it's here just for this reason, in case I right. is planning to go to Spain to say that I've, I've done it, uh, but it will not 
help you here in anywhere the else States okay. much, yeah so vosotros means you all if you're talking to friends and family and then okay. ustedes means you all when talking to strangers in spain okay all right so the rule is with our ar verbs you take away the ar and then you add back an ais ice notice mm -hmm. the accent mark over the a okay um so if you have a verb like hablar it would be vosotros hablais hablas hablais, hablais. hablais. Uh -huh. okay hablais and i've then, seen it i just didn't know how to pronounce it mm -hmm. um er verbs you take away the er and then add back eis with an accent over the e okay mm -hmm. so it would look like this vosotros coméis coméis and then with our okay. ir verbs you just add back an is with an okay. accent over the i so it looks like this vosotros bibis okay bibis. so again we see a, a tiny little difference in european spanish with, okay. with our er and our ir verbs here um up to you we're like i'm never going to give you an activity to practice this so this is really up to you if you want to learn this conjugation do it if not don't it um and like if i didn't use it it wouldn't be the end of the world it's just i you know would mainly be addressing formal anyways again the only time it's going to help you is if you're in spain or you're talking to somebody from spain right and then you know, at the end of the day, if you're using ustedes, it, it's perfectly acceptable too. Okay. You'll still be okay. understood and, um, you know, you'll be able right. to understand them, you know, it's just right. do, do okay. with it what you will. Okay. Estar. So estar, as we've seen, means to be. Uh, now mm -hmm. in Spanish, we have two verbs that mean to be. In this level, we're really going to start talking about the difference between estar and ser, which are both verbs that mean to be. Uh, today, we're going to start off just with the verb estar. Now, okay. another thing you have to know about this verb estar is it's an irregular verb, meaning it does not follow the normal conjugation pattern, okay. like an AR verb does. So in the yo form, it's estoy, and in the right. t form, it's estás. Okay? Estás. So conversationally, okay. I could say, como estás? And you would say, estoy bien. Ah, okay. Como estás? Estoy bien. Estoy... Vamos a practicar. So, Angela, imagine you're the person in the picture here, okay? So okay. So, we can start with the one in the bottom on the left. Como estás? Uh, you said I'm the one on the left? Is that yeah. correct? Okay. Uh, muy bien. ¿Y tú? So, give me a, a complete estoy bien oh estoy bien y yeah. tú and so here and don't ask me y tú because this is just to practice oh okay so just all right so um, um so here we're, if we're happy we could say you being a female you'd say estoy contenta contenta sí. contenta you could also say estoy feliz please okay right. estoy contenta now you're on the right side como estás um Estoy trying to remember that one. Como se dice sad? Triste. Oh, triste, yeah. So, estoy triste. Como estás? Um, okay. I don't know why I'm forgetting this stuff. I've been practicing it. Sorry. Um, no, I see, they I say excited. Estoy, uh, so you would say emocionada. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, so, estoy emocionada. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? Um, estoy... A second. Estoy... Why am I forgetting this? Um... Como si they say bored. Aburrida. Aburrido. Yeah, I knew I knew it started with well, it starts with an A, but still. Um estoy aburrida. Aburrida. ¿Cómo estás? Uh estoy is it despiro des despiro oh shoot, how do you say that? Despiro I know it starts with a D. 
It does start with a D. Do you want to ask me how to say it? <laughs> Como se dice depressed? Estoy deprimida. Deprimida. Okay. I don't know why I was I wanting to put an S in there. Because you were trying to confuse it with awake, which is another word that you've learned. Yeah. Okay. Estoy deprimida. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, estoy... That wouldn't be contenta. That would be in love, right? You're looking for in love, yeah. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se dice in love? Enamorada. Oh, in a, yeah, because you're enamored. Estoy enamorada. Enamorada. ¿Cómo estás? Um, estoy cansada. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, estoy despier... Oh, I always have a hard time saying this. Des despierta. Despierta. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> I always have a hard time saying that one. All right. Now, in the third person singular, the el, ella, and the usted form of the verb, uh, it looks like this. El está. Okay? Okay. Um, I just want to make a, a special point. Like on the two in the el form here, they are still considered irregular mm -hmm. because it's an A with an accent mark. Most of our okay. irregular, most of our regular verbs don't have the accent mark here. So this is still okay. irregular. All right. Uh, so as you know, when you ask a question in the third person, you also use the third person to answer it. Como esta Jaime? Esta enamorado. Como esta George Lopez? Um, George is, so it would be third person. So it'd be esta right no we just went over this uh -huh. yeah esta um yeah i'm looking back on my stuff okay george está contento contento sí. contento 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 está lionel messi okay lionel está um triste ¿Cómo está Celia Cruz? Uh, Celia está emocionada. ¿Cómo está Homero? Um, Homero está... It's bored. Está ab, ab, aborito. ¿Cómo está Marc Anthony? <laughs> Mark está um, deprimi deprimido. Yeah. Tongue tied. Deprimido. ¿Cómo está Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer está enam enamora enamorada. ¿Cómo está Shakira? Shakira está despierta. ¿Cómo está Barack Obama? Uh, Brack está cansado. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estamos en la clase de español hoy? Estamos emocionados. So in the we form, nosotros, we say estamos. Ángela, mm -hmm. ¿cómo estamos a las 10 de la mañana? Um, what are we? How are we? Or how are we? Um... At 10 in the morning. Okay. Um, estamos. Um, despi I don't conjugate that, right? Or do I? Conjugate what? You already uh, despi the Despierto. Estamos. Okay, so I just do the estamos conjugating. Okay. Estamos despierto. So for despierto, so that's not a conjugation, but you need to okay. make it masculine, feminine, singular, or plural. Oh, so right, the right. Is how are we at 10 in the morning? And well, so, so almost, it's got to be plural. Right. And I'm so, a man included in the conversation, so it's got to be masculine. Right. Estamos um, despiertos. So estamos despiertos. Muy bien. 
Okay. ¿Cómo estamos a las 10 de la noche? Um, estamos cansados. Nuestro compañero de clase viene con una botella de vino. ¿Cómo estamos? Uh, ¿Qué significa compañero? Compañero means, uh, in this situation, mate. M-A-T-E, like a friend. Compañero de clase, together means classmate. Okay. Um, so, new classmate. Botella de vino, bottle of, vi bottle of wine, with a bottle of wine. Um, Okay. Uh, ¿Qué significa viene? Um, comes. Okay. So, new student comes with a bottle of wine. What do we do? I don't know why you're trying to translate that to what do we do. ¿Cómo estamos? Okay. How are we? It's the same oh, how question. are we? How are we? Yes. It's the same question. Yep. ¿Cómo yeah. estamos? How are we? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, okay. So... Estamos um, emocionados. Muy bien. Um, nuestra boda es mañana. ¿Cómo estamos? Um, ¿Qué significa boda? Our wedding is tomorrow. Ok. Um, es, estamos contentos. 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 Entonces, bien. Uh, estamos, es, uh, uh, número cinco. La clase de español termina. ¿Cómo estamos? La clase es finished, I think that means. Ok. Um, estamos. Would it be cansados? Uh, we're tired after Spanish class, maybe. Could be. Uh, I'll accept yeah. it. Okay. Estamos cansados. Um, estamos esperando en el DMV por una hora. ¿Cómo estamos? <laughs> um, estamos mucho abrados. <laughs> estamos muy. Oh, muy abrados. 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 Sí. Oh, okay. Abrados. Vamos a Argentina la semana que viene. ¿Cómo estamos? Go to Argentina. Um, estamos emocion uh, emocionados. Muy bien. Nuestro equipo favorito no gana ni un per partido. ¿Cómo estamos? Uh... Okay, so that's favorite sport. Uh, favorite team. Favorite team. Okay. Um, ¿Qué significa partido? Uh, hmm, excuse me. A game. So our favorite team doesn't even win one game. Okay. Um, estamos deprimidos. Sí, muy bien. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, ¿Cómo están tus colegas de trabajo? How are your colleagues? Ellos están muy ocupados. So the ellos or the ellas or the ustedes form is going to be están here. Okay? Oh, yeah. Um, Angela, ¿cómo estás? Um, es, estoy... Estoy contenta. Con contenta. 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 Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Uh, do you have children? No. Uh, ¿Cómo está tu esposo? Um, está. Está cansado. Está ¿Cómo? cansado. 
¿Cómo está tu mejor amiga? Um, está ab aburrida. Aburrida, ok. ¿Cómo, cómo están tus padres? Um, está contentos. Uh, er, hang on. ¿Están contentos? Están contentos. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estamos nosotros? Um, estamos... Estamos contentos. Muy bien. ¿A qué hora empieza tu día de trabajo? Ok. ¿A qué hora empieza de trabajo? Um, ¿Qué significa empieza? Empieza means to start. Empieza. What time does your work day start? Ah, sí. Um, Trabajo a la, I'll just say, ocho. A las ocho. Okay, a las ocho. Bien. ¿Te gusta tu trabajo o deseas un cambio? Um, do you like your work or do you? Um, ¿Qué significa cambio? Uh, cambio? A change. Do you like your oh. job or do you want to change? Um, me gusta trabajo. ¿Puedes practicar el español en tu trabajo? Uh, no, no practico el español en mi trabajo. ¿Te gustaría ser actor o actriz o música famosa? Mm. Sí, um, sí. ¿Te gustaría? ¿Qué, ¿Actriz o música? Mm, how do I say both? Los dos. Ok, los dos. Muy bien. Ángela, uh, ¿trabajas en una oficina? Uh, sí. Sí. ¿Para cuándo piensas jubilarte? Um, uh, ¿Qué significa piensas jubilarte? So, when are you thinking about retiring? For oh, retiring. You will... Oh, geez. Uh, no lo sé. <laughs> no ¿Te, lo llevas, sé. ¿Te llevas bien con tu patrón? Bien con tu patrón. Um, oh, uh, ¿Qué significa llevas? I'm trying to remember what that word is. So this is an expression, te llevas bien, means to get along with. Do you get along okay. well with your boss? Oh, uh, sí. Um, I'm trying to think how to say this. Um, Como se dice, uh, we are friends. Um, Somos amigos. Sí. Somos amigos. Okay. ¿Cuál fue tu primer trabajo? Uh, when was your first job? Oh, gosh. Or what, <laughs> what was your first job? Let's see. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll just say, um, como se dice babysitting? Oh, era niñera. What is it? Oh, excuse me. Niñera? Niñera? Mm -hmm. Okay. Niñera. Niñera. Bien. So, ¿Cuántos años tienes? tienes? Um, how many years do you have? How old were you when you started? Oh, how old were you? Um, I don't know how I would respond with that because I know how to say I am or I have so, so many years. Tenia. Huh? Tenia. Tenia. Mm -hmm. Tenia. Um, uh, qua. qua uh, K 
Kin, Kin, Kinientos. Kinientos. I always forget how to say that. You were, you were 500 years old? No, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, no. 15? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to remember how to say that. Quince? Quince. I don't know why I always get that mixed up. Like, yeah. Tenía 15 años. Yeah, tenía 15 años. Uh, ¿Cuál fue el trabajo de tus sueños de niña? So when you were a child, what was the job of your dreams? Oh, <laughs> um, uh, quiero is I want, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so como se dice uh, wanted, if I wanted so to say you, wanted. You could say quería. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Quería. Um, uh, quería estoy, um, I'm trying to think how I want to, I, I want to say to be an actor. I want it to be an actor. Quería ser actriz. Uh, so, qui, quería quiera, ser, quería. ser, sorry, <laughs> quería ser, Actriz. Muy bien. Ok. Muy bien. Sí, yo también. Um, ¿Qué opinas de las relaciones románticas en el trabajo? Um, ¿Qué significas opinas? Uh, what do you think? What do you opine? What's your opinion on? Ok, so what's your opinion on romantic relationships? Um, no me gusta... Um, would I no say las? You can okay. just say no like, me gusta. <laughs> no me gusta. A little bit of new vocabulary for you here. So here okay. we have el plato está limpio, el plato está sucio. Clean and dirty. Limpio. Okay, so limpio and sorry, sucio. So clean plate, dirty plate. Is that what that's saying? Yep. Okay, clean, dirty. La bebida está caliente. La bebida está fría. Ah, cold and hot. So caliente is hot and fría is cold. La calle está mojada. La calle está seca. Hmm. Um, mojada. Mo Mojada. ¿Qué significa mojada? Wet. Oh, wet. Okay. And then seca is dry. Gracias. La botella está llena. Lena. La botella está vacía. Lena. And vacía. ¿Qué significa? Full and empty. Full and empty. Okay. So I thought. <laughs> El gato está cómodo. I know this that looks so <laughs> funny. <laughs> El gato está incómodo. <laughs> okay. Cómodo. And then incómodo. Accent on the oh, what's the first though? Okay, uh, K significa that would be considered like long and uh, what's the actual translation of that? Comfortable and uncomfortable. Comfortable. Okay, that's what I was thinking. All right. Um, okay. All right. Elvis está vivo. Elvis está muerto. So, alive and dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. I figured because vivo means to live, so. Mm -hmm. So, alive and muerto. Yeah. It's dead. Okay. So, um, real quick, tarea, homework. Yes. Um, 
have you been using the, the web application that we created for doing homework? Um, I have the book that you and um, Professor uh, Vallejo um, sent me. Okay, so going forward, I want you to use this web application to do okay. homework because this is also a new level. Um, okay. So I'm putting this into the chat box for you. Can you see that? Uh, just a second. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste it so yeah. that way I don't. So go go ahead in there, create your account, uh, and click on Spanish Foundations Two to two? Okay. get started. Yeah, and uh, you can do all of these activities that we did in class today. You'll do those as homework. Okay. Oh, the, cool. The first lesson. You can also skip ahead and kind of study ahead a little bit if you oh, want. Oh, okay, cool. And you can go back into the previous level, and if there's anything that you're struggling with, you can do the activity. Okay, first. cool. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Muchas gracias. Um, any questions before we wrap things up today? Mm, no. That's it. No questions. No preguntas. Muy bien, Angela. Gracias. Adiós. Nos vemos. Hasta luego.